the time has finally come once again for us to be doing another tier list for Pet Simulator 99. This time we are in update 7 of course and we have some brand new enchantments that we have to go over. So of course we're going to need a whole new tier list to see what is the best and what you guys should really be using for your setups. I think we even skipped the enchantment tier list for the last update so we still need to even go over those enchantments. So basically, we do have a lot to cover today, but thankfully, I've had a chance to cover all of these enchantments and test them all for myself. So that's why it took me a little bit to actually make this video because, you know, I want to provide quality information. Just give you guys an accurate representation of what these enchantments can do. If you enjoy this type of content, we do this stuff all the time on the channel, so consider subscribing and liking the video. And we also do daily giveaways, but it's all on my Discord, so you have to join. The link will be in the description. It's free as always, and we have a great community on there that can help you with all sorts of pet simulator problems, so there's just no reason you shouldn't be on there. Let's get right into it, though, because we have so many of these enchantments to go over. It's actually getting ridiculous, and this tier list is only going to keep getting bigger as more updates come out. All right, you guys, so this time around, I was considering taking out the basic enchantments like the crit, the coins, the crit, stuff like that, just because everybody generally has an idea of them. But this time around, I just chose to keep them in just because I know some new players probably still want to know more about those enchantments and which ones they should be using. Let me know in the comment section if you think I should remove it for the next one. So I think these categories are pretty self-explanatory and should be pretty easy for anybody watching to know what these categories mean. We're going to have to get right into it though. I don't think I can cover each one of these in depth and still have this be under 20 minutes. So starting off strong with a non-usable enchant. We're going to have the Tat Blast down here in the Do Not Use category. At the current moment, nobody uses this book even if they are using a tapping setup. This could be good like in the beginning when you're very first starting maybe. But after that, it's like it's just not even viable. So we're going to put this at the worst tier starting off strong right now. The next one on this list is actually a pretty crucial one because... This thing has changed a lot in the past few updates. In the last clan battle that involved going through those levels and breaking chest, this enchant actually reached like 400 million or something absolutely crazy. If you do not know what the chest breaker does, the chest breaker actually enables you to do 200% bonus damage to all kinds of chests. So this could be very useful for stuff like the chest mimic books or the boss chest mimic books. All of these things are affected by the chest breakers, so you can farm those just much quicker. When this was in the hundreds of millions of diamonds, I probably would not suggest anybody to use it and just to just sell it because I don't think it's going to be very useful for them. But nowadays, this thing is actually under 10 million diamonds, so this is actually pretty useful. And a lot of people could be using these in their builds. So if you're doing a loot build that uses these chests, then you might want to consider using the chest breaker book, uh, especially if you need that bonus damage. But basically, this is just going to depend on your setup and whether or not you think it would be useful for you guys. But it definitely has some use, especially with how cheap it is now. I could definitely suggest some people to be using this. Moving on, we actually have the chest mimic book, which is currently the best enchantment in the game. And due to this being the best enchantment book in the game, this thing currently costs over 700 million diamonds. So it's definitely not affordable for the average player, but this thing is pretty darn good. It gives you a lot of drops and the quality of those drops are very significant a lot of the times. And then the other big thing about this enchantment book is just that it spawns so often. You get those mini chests so much that it is honestly just so useful having this, especially for all kinds of rank up missions as well as the clan quests. The chest mimic book is pretty much useful to everybody and that's why it just costs so much. And as time goes on, these things are becoming more and more rare. We can probably expect the price of this thing to just constantly be rising. I have been considering selling it though just because of how expensive it's gotten. Overall though, chest mimic book is number one on this list. 
The next book we have is the Exotic Pet book. So this is not that good at all. And I don't really suggest anybody to be using it. Very, very, very few circumstances call for using this book. The Exotic Pet book increases the damage of your best pet by 150%. Now, it sounds like this would be good because it sounds like this would increase the damage of your best stat pet, which would then increase the damage of all of your huge and titanic pets. But unfortunately, that's not the case. What this does instead is it increases the damage of whatever your best huge or your best titanic or your best exclusive pet is. It's basically just going to increase the damage of that one pet. So it's honestly just not that good. Having one pet with a ton of damage really isn't going to be doing you a whole lot of justice. But I guess if you somehow own a Titanic pet and you, that pet is just doing so much more damage than your other pets, then maybe some use could be come out of this. But I just... Just don't use it. But we have a lot of useless enchants on this tier list. So I'm going to save that category for those. Next, we have the Firework Enchant. This is honestly just so doo-doo. This is another one of those tap books that if you click on a breakable, sometimes it will fire a firework at it and do some damage. It's just not good. Don't even, I, I don't even have to talk about it, honestly. Just not a good enchant overall. All right, so next we have the Fortune Book, which actually, I'm going to put that at some setups need it because if you are going for diamond farming, after you use two diamond enchantment books, this is going to be the next best option for you because of how enchantments work in pet simulator after two books the fall off is pretty significant especially for the diamond books so using this fortune book as your third diamond boost book in diamond grinding setups is going to be very good for you guys and honestly it's so cheap now that it's a very good price overall i'm actually currently using this in both of my setups uh as well as two diamond books so Definitely a lot of use for it. Definitely a good book and very good for the value. Next up, we have the Happy Pets book, which pretty much nobody uses. But honestly, I feel like there's going to be a use for this book soon. If somebody does some significant testing on how the random bursts work, the movement and the attack speed buff from this enchantment might be worth it eventually. Honestly, I'm just not sure how it really works. It just seems pr pretty random to me. So honestly, I don't use it. I don't know anybody that does. It's a pretty common drop too. So people have a ton of these things. I will be keeping a close eye on that and I have good hopes for this book. For now though, it is in the do not use category. Next up, we have the Huge Hunter book. So because this book is the only book that does what it does, it's obviously going to be an S tier enchant because it's going to be in every single one of those egg opening builds that you're going to have. The Huge Hunter book increases your chances of getting those active huges by 25%. So this is the only thing in the game besides the Huge Hunter Game Pass that actually affects the odds of you opening an active huge from the eggs. So that's why it's going to be S tier. You can get one of these books for free by opening a certain amount of eggs and getting that one achievement. So while it might be expensive, it is a good overall value in that way because every single player can get it for free. And if you want more of them, you could just make a new account and keep opening eggs on it. So for that reason, that's why it is a S tier enchant. Next up, we have another tapping book. And honestly, I think we're at a point in the game where I could just officially say that all of the tapping books are pretty much just garbage. This one isn't even the best of what it does. So obviously, this is going to be the do not use category. So next up, we have the lucky block enchantment book. So I don't really know how to feel about this. It gives decent drops, but the drops that you get are just not that good overall. I'm going to put it above the chest breaker. It's hard to judge some of these books because the value differences between some of these are just absolutely crazy. The Lucky Block book spawns these little mini Lucky Blocks that you break and they give you a, a little bundle of items and a little tiny bit of diamonds as well. This thing costs about 30 million. It is very decent for a beginner person who is grinding for items. I definitely wouldn't say it's bad. There's just so many better options now in update 7 that I have to put it in the middle here. Honestly, I really like this enchant. Just due to the fact that there's so many other things that can do what it does, we're going to have to put it in the middle tier. But for value wise and for somebody that's on a budget, this is probably the best item grinding enchant in the game. Which is crazy to say because this is still 30 million diamonds, but that is pretty cheap considering what we have now. 
Next up, we have the Midas Touch Book. This basically just gives you bonus coins. Uh, d don't use it. Don't, don't, don't use it. We don't have to talk about it much more. Moving on, we have the Shiny Hunter Book. So, this is no longer the only book that increases your shiny chances. So, honestly, it is pretty hard to judge this. I'm going to put it in the some setups need it. The Shiny Hunter Book is going to give you plus 60% chances to getting a shiny pet from opening eggs. So it's not a useless enchant by far. It's also pretty cheap because you can get this one for free as well. So by doing the achievements, you can get one of these for your setup for absolutely free. So it's a decent value. You can't argue the value wise. Honestly, if you are opening eggs, this is most likely going to be in your setup. So honestly, it's pretty much here. But just because there's options now, I'm going to put it here. And you guys will see in a second why. Next up, we have the Starfall enchantment. This is also do not use. It takes absolutely forever for one of these comet showers to come. I don't know why. This is just like the most useless thing. I'd even go as far as saying that the party time enchantment is better than this. And I don't even like the party time enchantment at all. So do not use trash enchant. Moving on, we have the super lightning. So honestly, I'm going to put this in probably do not use because this is probably the best tapping enchant in the game. It is honestly really good if you are tapping. 95% of the people playing Pet Simulator, however, are probably not tapping anymore. So that's why it's going to be in the probably do not use section. But if you do have a tapping build, this should most definitely be in it. I believe it's around a million diamonds, but I have not seen the price of it in a long time. It's just not a tapping game. This is just an AFK game. So this is just not what people are using. That's pretty much all I can say. And moving on in the same tapping category, we have tap teamwork. Just not useful. The tap teamwork enchantment gives you a 10% buff to your pet's attack speed when tapping. It's just not that good. It's just going to be in the do not use category. All right. So now we're moving into some juicy, juicy enchants and what you guys are probably watching the video for. Next, we have this boss chest mimic book. Honestly, I actually really like the boss chest mimic. I'm going to go as far as saying that this should be a S tier book just because this has a lot of uses, so I believe that pretty much every setup in the end game should be using at least one of these boss chest mimic books. It is pretty good. The drops that you get from the boss chest mimic are honestly pretty high quality most of the time. While the boss chest doesn't spawn as much as something like the chest mimic book, I think that the boss chest mimic makes up for it because of its overall value. This thing is only about 150 million compared to 700 million of the chest mimic. So for overall value wise, I feel like two of these things is pretty much or close to equal one chest mimic book. In that way, I feel like this is still a very good book and a lot of people are still going to be using this in their setups today. I suggest this to most people that are going to be grinding for items because of its just value and its use. On top of all that, it actually helps you get the boss chest achievement, which gives you the chest breaker book. So a little bonus on top of that. Obviously, that was a little better when this thing cost over 100 million diamonds, but, you know, a free little 5 to 10 million diamonds isn't bad as well, so that's another bonus on top. Next up, we have the Diamond Chest Mimic, and this is a pretty controversial enchant, and honestly, this enchantment used to be very good a few updates ago, but recently, it's been falling behind due to a lack of buffs and keeping up with the increased diamond drops from the new areas that we've seen. But it does seem like we did get a sort of item drop nerf in the latest update. So the Diamond Chest Mimic actually moved up in value overall a bit. Honestly, I could see some people using this. It is only 70 million diamonds compared to something like the boss chest, which is 150 million, or the chest mimic, which is 700. So this is 10 times the price of the diamond chest mimic. I think if we did get a spawn rate buff for the diamond chest mimic, then this could honestly be really good once again, because over time, it just keeps falling behind and behind. And it's kind of sad because I actually used to really love this book. For now, we're going to put this in the second tier, a decent book that could be good depending on what the devs do. Next up on our list, we have the Massive Comet book, which is another item farming enchant that spawns a massive comet in the area that you're standing. 
The main issue with the massive comet book that we see is that you can't spawn events when this is in the area. So that's a very annoying, especially if you're grinding like pinatas or the lucky block event stuff. It just honestly interferes with a lot, but it does give a decent amount of items. And it also gives a little chunk of diamonds as well. But just due to that fact that it stops the other events from spawning and the fact that the spawn rate is just not that good is probably going to be one of the lower tiers on has some use. For all those reasons, you should probably just use the Lucky Block book over the Massive Comet. Overall, just not a good choice considering the alternative that you do have. All right, so next we have the Fruity Enchant. So what this does is increases the power of those fruit buffs that you get by 25%, which with the new Fruit Mastery is actually pretty good. So honestly, I don't know where to rank this. It pretty much just depends on how high of your mastery you have your fruits at. When you do have level 99 fruits, you can automatically use your fruits constantly and have no need for like a macro or anything to do it. But if you are actively grinding and are able to keep eating fruits or you have a macro to keep eating fruits for you, this book is honestly very good. I must say some setups need it just for that reason, but for now, as people don't have their fruit mastery up all the way because it is quite expensive, it's just not going to be in that every setup should have it thing. I think once I do get fruit mastery level 99, I will be using this book. So for that reason, it's going to be here. It also is pretty cheap because I'm pretty sure it just drops as a regular drop from loot. Value wise, it is very cheap. All right, so next up, we have one of the enchantments from the new update. We have the Boss Lucky Block book. So this is pretty much a upgraded version of the Lucky Block mixed with the Boss Chest. It's basically just one big Lucky Block that drops a ton of items. The thing with the Boss Lucky Block is that it does spawn pretty often, which is good. So you do get a lot of drops from using this. But the overall quality of the drops that you're getting are lesser, so you're not making as much. So you're pretty much just getting like all of those little potions and the little enchants, which honestly take forever to sell. And honestly, most people probably won't want to use this. I think the boss chest mimic book is better at the moment. So for that reason, we're going to put this in the second tier. The boss lucky block book is also a little more expensive than the boss chest mimic, but they're pretty much the exact same price. For some setups, it might be worth it to use. It's just going to be up to you and what you want to grind for. For now, it's going to be in the second tier. Next up, we actually have the Super Magnet book, which is something we've been asking for forever in Pet Simulator 99. We've needed one of these for so long, and Big Games delivered, giving us a new exclusive enchant. And honestly, this is going to be another one of those books that you should most definitely have in pretty much any setup that I can think about. The uses overall for this enchantment are pretty much endless because... Because this enables you to use regular flags for whatever task you're going to be grinding for. So if you're going for diamonds, you can use the fortune flags instead of a magnet flag, obviously. And then if you are grinding for items, even the hasty flag is a good option sometimes. You can now open eggs overnight while grinding without a worry. Overall, though, this is just an S tier enchant. Honestly, I love this. I have one of these for all three of my accounts. I just don't see why you guys want to like it definitely an s tier enchant all right you guys so i'm gonna try to fly through the rest of these because this video is getting very long and i don't want this to be that long so we're gonna keep moving on the party time enchant i mean i don't know it's gonna be low tier probably do not use the testing i've seen done on this enchant are pretty inconclusive so it's kind of hard to tell how much more events you're going to get spawned by using this book honestly just not very useful for many people it also costs like a couple million so it's not super cheap either just going to use it in the probably do not use category next up we have the explosive book which pretty much just gives your pets a random chance to explode damaging breakables around it honestly just not that good i'm just gonna say probably do not use it because I feel like this is another one of those enchants that, that actually has the chance to be kind of good soon. But currently with the amount of damage that it does, it's just not that useful. Probably a D tier enchant. 
honestly, I don't even want to talk about this. I still don't understand to this day what this enchant is used for. I don't know why big games put it in the game. It just honestly blows my mind that this even exists. The large tap book enables you to basically tap more than one breakable at a time. Sometimes it basically just gives you a bigger radius for when you click to hit multiple breakables. It's just garbage. Don't use it trash enchant let's keep flying through these though the magic orb enchant is also pretty garbage um i see some people using it still for some reason I i'm gonna put it upper tier of the do not use category which doesn't mean much not a good enchantment book it also costs a lot of magic shards to make this for some reason not a good enchant uh, do not use it don't use it and then we have the super shiny hunter book so this is the reason why i put the regular shiny hunter book here in the sum setups needed this book basically gives you an additional 90 percent bonus to uh your chances of opening a shiny pet it's just uh, the only problem with this book is that it does cost like 70 million diamonds which is just ridiculous because the 60 percent book is less than a million diamonds so honestly i would never use this but if you are just trying to get the max chance to open shiny huges, this is going to be your go-to. Honestly, I'm going to put the regular shiny hunter book ahead of it. Some of you guys are going to need it, I guess, if you are trying to open those super rare shiny active huges. But I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'll leave that up to you guys. It's going to be a A tier book for me. Next up, we have the diamond book. I pretty much would have this on every setup that exists. So that's going to be an S tier book for me. These books have gotten pretty cheap nowadays with how much enchantment drops that people get. I can't really think of a grinding setup that won't have at least one of these. So that's the reason it's going to be S tier today. Next up, we have the Lucky Eggs book. So um, because this doesn't help your chances at getting the active huges, that's the reason I'm going to say that not every setup is going to want one of these, uh, especially if you are opening eggs. But it is very good. Definitely an A-worthy enchant. Next up, we have the Strong Pets book, which is going to be has some use, maybe like early game, but honestly, not much, especially since damage is not that big of a deal nowadays, and most people are not even using critical books. The Strong Pets book is just pretty much useless at this point. The reason why Strong Pets is not as good as critical books is, the Strong Pets bases its bonus damage before all of the buffs that you get from stuff like fruits and the clan bonuses and stuff like that. So that's why the Strong Pets is not as strong as Criticals, and that's why everybody uses the Critical Enchantment books over the Strong Pets. And just because I explained that, we're going to put the Critical books at some setups needed. I know a lot of endgame people no longer use the criticals books, especially if you have a good team. So that's why this is in the some setups needed. But overall for damage, this is the best enchantment that you're going to find. Pretty cheap overall too. Very good enchant. And then on, on the same note, the treasure hunter book is pretty good. Most people are item grinding. So honestly, it's pretty close to the every setup should have this. But just because not everybody item grinds, it's going to be in the A tier. Very good book. This increases your chances of getting item drops from breakables. So obviously very good. You're going to be able to get more drops and more diamonds overnight from grinding. Overall, a A tier book. Next up, we have the tap power book. Uh, honestly, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because I did put super lightning here. I'm going to put it here. This basically just increases the damage you do from tapping. Most people aren't going to use this. Some people might use it early game. It's not horrible early game, but we'll just put it here for now. And then finally, we have the coins enchantment book, which honestly is good if you're trying to get coins, but for everything else, it's completely useless. So <laughs> we're going to put it in the do not use category. Actually, I'll, I'll put it in the probably do not use because there are probably some people that use this just so they can re-up on their coins and keep opening eggs. So for that reason, it's probably do not use. But if you need coins, this is your go-to enchant. Overall though, guys, this is it. That took so long. Hopefully I didn't yap your ear off too much. But this is the setup. If you have anything that you disagree with or questioning why I put it somewhere, please leave a comment below. I'll try to read through as many of the comments as I can. 
this is all just a personal opinion so don't get mad this is just like what i prefer but for the most part a lot of these are things that everybody in the community would agree with currently just because everybody has done pretty extensive testing on most of these enchants but if there is something that i forgot about please leave a comment down below i will try to pin it if i find something that i did forget to mention but if you did enjoy the video please leave a like it helps me out tremendously with the algorithm so thank you guys for that remember to join the discord if you want to be entered into daily giveaways because they're absolutely free on there and we give away huge pets almost every day if not, we give away something significant like diamonds, millions and millions of diamonds. So I would love to see you guys in there. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.